Peter Prop. Welcome back to our interview on 10 Minute Strategy with Matt Curtin, the CEO of Social Smack. That's at socialsmack.com. Um, and uh, Matt, we were just talking about you know some of your international story, which is which is quite interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. If people want to hear about that, they can listen to the first um, part of this of this recording. How are you doing in terms of regions within the U.S.? What I assume that around Texas you're doing pretty well. Your guys are based yeah. in Austin, so you've got your your friends and family aspects. Where, where, you know, as you started in September, so I'm sure your penetration pattern is is really interesting. Yeah, it, it has been interesting. One thing that we found is that you know we're kind of identifying these regional smack leaders, the most passionate people that are out there, you know, talking about brands and. What's interesting is the more our community uh, hooks in their Facebook and hooks in their Twitter accounts and really is, is amplifying their voice out, the more virality that, that we're seeing. So really, it, it, um, you know, most recently we've seen a ton of activity coming from New York mm-hmm. where you get one very vocal person that's got a pretty deep, broad social graph you know, with their Facebook and their Twitter connections. Right. And they start talking about some of these brands. You know, all it takes is a retweet or a, or a like in Facebook and next thing you know, all their friends are in talking about those brands as well as some of the ones that, that they like. Interesting. So while we started out in Texas, um, we're, we're seeing penetration across the entire U.S. And again, I think that just kind of plays into the model that people love talking smack about the stuff that they buy and it's, it's catching on. Excellent. Excellent. Well, congratulations on that. Thank I have, you. I have, I have no doubt it will catch on even, even more. Um, uh, tell me about your process with the brands in terms of the claiming, because I think this is the interesting part. As a as a marketer, you know, I, if if someone's talking poorly about me, I want to know who that is. I want to address it. I want to figure out how to make things better. Yeah. So, so what what's my process? I'm KFC. Yeah. So so we really snuck this out as a utility for consumers to get you know to to emote the sentiment about their experiences with these brands. And what we quickly found is that brands said, hey, we, we want to be engaged in the discussion. So we have 107 brands currently that have come in and claimed their page, folks like Ford Motor Company and USAA and, and Mars Candy, Pepsi through their Lipton brand, as well as a whole ton of small to medium-sized businesses um, that are pinging us on, you know, kind of figuring out what this is and how they engage. Uh-huh. So, so what we've enabled them to do is to come in, land on their, their brand page that's been created by a consumer. And then the brand owner, the company, can actually claim that brand for free currently. And um, they can actually load up their Facebook uh, fan page, their Twitter page, um, load up a brief description about the brand, and then actually engage with the community by providing custom replies to some of the props and the drops that they're getting. So they, so right now they can claim it for free, but I'm, yeah, sure, so I, I'm sure the people that have funded you would like you to figure out a way to... Have the, have put some money around that. Yeah, yeah, they sure would. And you know, the um, the more value, you know, we're, we're not going to charge until we can start driving some significant value for brands. And I think, you know, the model that we're there that we're um, that we're landing on at a philosophical level is a freemium approach for brands. Mm-hmm. So what they can do today by claiming their page and putting their custom logo up there, their Facebook fan page, their Twitter page, and then being able to engage the community, we just think that that's a good deal for brands. And that's something that we're just going to provide to them for free. But if you think about the next wave of that, enabling them to drive custom deals, so not a Groupon type deal, but maybe a custom offer or a deal to somebody that's you know giving them you know their most passionate advocate, right? Um, you know that that's kind of an upgrade. And then the next upgrade is really uh, analytics, right? Specific guided analytics on how your brand is performing at an emotional level in a different geolocation around the country. Or a, or a, a specific product that you may sell, you know, what is the sentiment trend on that? Excellent, excellent. So you're, I think one of the things that's interesting, and, and there's a lot of companies that are in in a, a similar discussion right now. Not only on, on the freemium side, which I think you, you've you've laid out pretty well, and it's it's I think it's a good, solid approach. Um, but in, in terms of integrating with some of the the platforms that are out there. You know, obviously Facebook Connect is great, and 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 Twitter they've got open APIs and a solid platform, and those are ones you really want to get involved in. Um, but I'm sure you must be evaluating other platform players with APIs that you could use. You know, Yelp I think is almost is probably a competitor to some degree. 
but they might sure. be, they might be a partner that you would could work with. I, I I don't know how do you go through the process of evaluating which APIs you're going to leverage and you know how how you can sort of grow your platform by leveraging others. Sure, sure. So the way we think about it is is really around value, right? Mm -hmm. How how much value can we gain from some of those relationships that is that's meaningful value to a brand? Right. So I've been beat up a little bit for this comment, but you know, philosophically, my my thought on this whole location based services craze that's happening is that um, that we're losing sight of the real message. That check in is out, right? <laughs> check out is in. So in other words, you know, I may check in frequently at a location and be the mayor of a location and be all excited about that, and brands are trying to figure out how to respond, but, but in essence, that, that tells me where the consumer is, but it doesn't tell me how they felt about the experience and what they're telling their entire social graph, what they're telling all their friends. Right. So we think of a check out as a rating and review, and that's primarily you know, the folks that, that will look at starting to uh, open up our API and, and really leveraging Others APIs, folks like Amazon, you know, through their reviews that you're able to pull. Right. Um, Google is another uh, potential partner in the mix, and and quite frankly, we are looking at folks like Foursquare and Gowalla to consider. Um, location is important. My my concept on that is it's just not the end all be all. Really, no. you want to capture that voice of the consumer. I I, I agree. I heard a, someone speak uh, last week, and they they talked about whether whether something that you that you provide. And they they mentioned location as one, whether that mm -hmm. was a a platform, or whether it was a feature, and, ah. and 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 I think that's a question for someone like you also, right? You know, the, yeah. this sort of a, a binary uh, rating system that that does capture interesting data and does deliver to consumers. You know, is it a platform or is it a feature that someone else can come on and just jam it right into their their environment? Yeah, it's a challenge, I suppose. Yeah, my, I mean, my take on that is is definitely a feature. I mean, the, the way I, th as a marketer, um, the way I think about it is the platform is the consumer's passion, the consumer's voice, mm -hmm. and what that consumer is telling all of their friends, right? That's the whole back to brands losing control of the message and, you know, alleging that people now have control of the message. I would actually say that, you know, people are almost as lost as the brands because they get drowned out in all the noise, right? In you know, on Twitter and on Facebook. So my point is that, that a really meaningful platform for a brand is one that would capture that sentiment and really understand you know who their advocates, who their detractors are, why, um, so that they can do some root cause analysis and really start to fix problems or go do more of the good stuff. Right. And then then you just layer capabilities on top of that, like location and uh, and some other features, and uh, and you kind of have the perfect world. Yeah. Well, I I I think. Um... I do think when when I see what you're doing, it, it certainly looks like a platform play to me that that is quite solid. Uh, you've got the mobile bits going, you've got the the online bits going, and and how are your your numbers climbing? Is it what's what's it been like since you launched? So uh, it's it's we we try to control the floodgates a little bit. We snuck out a, a private beta um, right before uh, we launched uh, in September. And then coming out of our launch, we had about 3,300 uh, beta users on the system. Mm -hmm. And now that we're in some deep conversations with uh, a couple of different funding folks, actually several different funding folks, um, we're keeping the user count uh, private um, just as far as those numbers. But you know, the brand count um, is something that we're watching very closely and we are sharing with people, the 107 brands that have come in and engaged. And, and that number is growing very steadily. And that's it's quite frankly, the one we're really excited about because it's the old adage that, you know, if a tree falls in a, you know, in a forest and nobody hears it, blah, blah, blah. Well, if a, if a consumer emotes a sentiment about your brand and the brand's not there to respond to it right. and, and engage in a discussion, then, you know, is it really meaningful? Right. So we want these brands to come in and respond to the passions that the people are sharing with them. Excellent. Well, I, I think that wraps up our, our second part. And, and, you know, you and I have these great conversations. We'll have to get together again on the on the Skype phone and, and do some more, but I, I wish you all the best with, with social smack and uh, props. Prop gives you guys props. Uh, hey, hey. Th thank you very much. I don't know if you see on the board back here, but it says props to prop. So we appreciate <laughs> the opportunity very much. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot, Matt, and we'll wish you luck and and uh, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, Peter. Thank you.